We're just six days away now from the total solar eclipse. On August 21st, day will briefly turn to night for the first time in 99 years. Vendors on Amazon are charging an arm and a leg for special glasses to watch the eclipse. But proper eye protection is essential to preventing serious and even potentially permanent vision damage. Yeah, so we want to hear from you. Are you still planning to watch the eclipse in spite of any risk there might be to your eyesight? Well, we just sent you a push alert. You can click on that or you can go to WXYZ.com slash vote to cast your vote on this subject. We're going to have the results for you in real time. Are you going to watch the eclipse or not on 7 Action News a little later on in this newscast? But first of all, 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live to tell us what you need to know about solar eclipse glasses. And there's a lot of questions about this, Jennifer. Yeah, well, here's the number one question. Where do I get them? I'm at a 7-Eleven in Sterling Heights. It's the only 7-Eleven I could find in the area that had any left. And I was going to be able to tell you that there were two sets left in this box until Zane walked up right before my live shot. Zane, what do you got in your hand there? Look at that. And he happens to be wearing a NASA t-shirt, so we know that he's a pretty big fan. And his mom just behind him, were you having a tough time finding these? I was. I was calling around and no one had them. And then I saw you live on Facebook and you said you were at 16 and Mount and we just live right down the street. And I said, we're going to go get him. So she got one of the last few pair here, but I tried and tried to figure out where else you can get them. And here's how that went. These have quickly become the most coveted $3 pair of glasses in the nation, and they're near impossible to find. I started with NASA's list of approved retailers for solar eclipse glasses and started making phone calls. Hi there, do you have any more of the solar eclipse glasses? From Kirkland's to Best Buy and Walmart, store after store said they sold out a week ago, and they don't plan on getting any more. None to be found at Lowe's, Toys R Us, or Kroger's, as far as I can tell, in the state of Michigan. Online website after website says sold out, and vendors on Amazon know the glasses are as elusive as the eclipse sun and are charging an arm and a leg for them. So what can you do on Monday if you don't have NASA-approved eclipse glasses? What you want to do is make some way of looking at the sun indirectly, so you can use things that you can find around lying at home to do this and project an image of the sun on the ground. Ed Cackett of Wayne State University suggests making a pinhole camera with a paper plate and a pin, then standing with your back to the eclipse. If you don't have a paper plate and a pin, you can do it with your fingers. So if you cross your fingers over like this and make a small hole between your fingers, you'll get uh, four, or four or so images of the sun on the ground. Whatever you do, he says, just don't look directly at the sun. So fortunately, he actually gave me that uh, plate and a piece of paper. The sun has just gone behind the clouds, so it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to demonstrate this very well for you here. But he said if you don't have a paper plate, you heard him, you can use your hands. You can stand in front of a tree and look at the shadow cast on the ground. You could even use something like a colander or something you might, a strainer, something you might have at home. NASA on their website has a whole page all about the eclipse. And they can tell you how to safely view it if you aren't able to get a hold of those glasses. Meanwhile, corporations like 7-Eleven says, they are shipping out some extra glasses, but a lot of these companies, well, you're just kind of out of luck. A couple of libraries and uh, the Michigan Science Center will be having events on Monday and be giving out glasses on a first come first serve Monday at those events. Reporting live in Sterling Heights, Jennifer Ann Wilson. If there's still one more pair in there, I think I better go grab them. Back to you. You know, Jennifer, I'm really impressed that you let that little guy have one. You could have bought both pairs and sold them for a fortune. He was so sweet and he had a shirt that said NASA. How could I say no? <laughs> All right, Jennifer, thank you so very much. By the way, you can head on over to WXYZ.com right now. We have a list of everything you need to know about the eclipse. We've posted pages all over the place of where you can find NASA coverage as well as uh, ways to safely watch the eclipse. Now, here's something not mentioned right. I love this right here. I've posted this on my own Facebook page because I liked it so much. This is instructions right now, a video on how to make a viewer out of a cereal box. Basically, you make a hole on that side, a little hole on that side, the pinhole, and then you project the image there, put the sun behind you, and you've made yourself a perfect viewer for the, uh, for the uh, eclipse coming up on Monday. So you can go to WXYZ.com and the instructions are right there. They're really, really easy. I can even pull this off. Linda? All right, now let's